the city of Oblawaya hosted the historic first edition of the Zimbabwe Tertiary Institution Sports Association Paralympic Games. This is a step in the right direction to create a seamless society of equals and to nurture the talent of the disabled through sport. We are much excited, especially as the Sports and Recreation Commission, which is the Sports Regulatory Authority, by this inclusion of the Paralympic movement component within the TISO Games. It is a fact, ladies and gentlemen, that the sporting exploits in this country has been well represented by mostly Paralympic athletes. And to share, to just share with you a number, more than 60% of our athletes who have already qualified for Rio 2016 come from the Paralympic movement. The Sitisu Games have addressed the issue of exclusion of the disabled from sporting activities. Now they have a chance to showcase their abilities and talents. We get more from the report. I feel it's a very good uh, because most people believe that if someone is disabled, that person is not able to do anything. But really, there are people who are also able to do everything just like us. So they really feel they are involved and they are also part of this country. Disabled students from various institutions express their gratitude over the inclusion at this historic event. I feel great about this and that we're included. I chose love and appreciate. Mm, I think they should try to accommodate us everywhere. If there's a tournament, because we're part of the one people on blood. We, we, we fought for inclusion. So being included with other people who call themselves able, it, it, it's our pleasure. And uh, it, it, we, we, it, it can show us that we can do it, right? And other people who think that we cannot do it can, can even show that disability is not inability. Fellow students who are not physically handicapped were able to turn out in great numbers to support the Paralympics movement. Munashe Mudzingwa reporting for Mobile Community of Zimbabwe, Bulawayo.